all right what's up everybody another day another property tour if you guys are just tuning into this channel for the first time my name is Chuck it's Chris Watt, and I'm with Simply Vegas I'm a licensed real estate agent out here in Las Vegas Henderson in North Las Vegas serving Nevada that's right now this home that we're gonna to be touring today this thing is a massive okay if you have like a family of five this I think this is a great home for a starter family of a family of five I don't would it be a starter family if you had five kids uh, I don't know let me know in the comments below so today we are here in the southwest of the Las Vegas Valley mountains edge that's right mountains edge we are less than five minutes right just north to all the shopping blue diamond about 20 minutes to the airport now this home that we are gonna be touring today was actually built in 2006 Asking price is uh, $749,999. Property features 4,448 square feet. Five bedrooms, den, and also loft. Total of three toilets, three car garage. As you can see, we have some beautiful, nice pavers. The exterior of this home has been refinished, and I love the color of the home. They did a really good job. Here's your clean out right here. So you'll see this periodically. All over the place however uh, when you do a home inspection make sure to find out where your clean outs are so that way your plumber can access it and find it now you also have an option to do uh, a sewer inspection sometimes you can send a camera down that'll run you down they'll run you probably about three four hundred bucks I've done a couple uh, on some inspections and found out homes that I was gonna rehab the cast iron plumbing has collapse but you would do that with homes that were built in the early 40s because of that during that time period they use cast iron plumbing coming through the French doors now what I like about this home reminds me of a friend of mine his parents used to have a home like this you got 24 by 24 on the tile here porcelain tile this is going to be your formal dining. You got plantation shutters. You got a thermostat right here for your air conditioning unit. I mean, this home is very large. Now, the kitchen is mostly a micro kitchen, which kind of reminds me of a galley kitchen here on this one. And with the overcast today, it's very dark. So I'll try my best to get the lighting on the back side. Oh, interesting. Here's the same agent on the last one that I showed. Give her a quick shout out. Real estate consultant. Give her a call if you guys are interested in purchasing a home. All right. So it looks like we have a built-in microwave and also a microwave too as well. Let's take a look at the uh, pantry. Home's pretty decent as far as cleansiness. A very small pantry for a home this large. I would probably take out this. I would probably extend this all the way across, keep that window there move this and have a large island here for sure yeah that's what I would do then we have a room over here which is a little bit strange I would probably knock out this wall here to have a larger island but I mean take a look at this full living space this thing is large love the um engineering flooring these ones have not been glued on I can really feel it and with the dark hardwood floors or even dark tile that you can see you're gonna get these spots now that's not my footprints because I didn't go outside now I'm coming outside now this is a very large lot so definitely this is a pool size lot now to do a backyard it's gonna be pretty pricey. You're looking at about seven dollars a square foot, which is a healthy budget. But I do love the paint colors selection. I don't like that 
Spanish type of tile. But what are you going to do? Makes no sense to uh, replace that. Here's the uh, side of the house, okay. Exterior looks really good. Painted all the eaves. All right. Let's come on this side here. So we have access to the side, okay. Cover patio. So whoever laid these pavers looks like they added after. Like you could tell that was done after. So the ones over here it was done after. Didn't do it the right way. You gotta impact that dirt. Oh look! Oh never mind. I thought you had central back. I'm just gonna turn off this light here. So I'm just making my way through. Another thermostat here. Here, what do we have? The laundry room, washer and dryer. Okay. You gotta fix that light. Light is humming. All right, let's go out here and see what we got. Definitely a, a true three-car garage, that's for sure. Okay, nice. Here's a door that takes you out to the side. So basically you can put your trash can here and just wheel it out, which is a nice feature to have. You got extra storage to built-in cabinets. I do love that. All right, we're gonna go back inside start making our way upstairs this is just a closet it's very small and we have a bedroom downstairs it's good for guests right here that's for sure hmm I'm liking the bedroom downstairs I mean, the home is in fairly good condition, but it needs a lot of upgrades. I mean, you do have some wear and tear right here, though. Here we go. I'll have a link in the uh, description below regarding this property, and also in the comments. We got like these little closets all over the place, but the best part of this, let me show you, is the primary. But look at this. Just all this extra living area, which is great. Go upstairs. I'm gonna show the primary last, because that's like the most important. Love the flooring here. This is uh, engineering flooring. This is going to be laminate. I can just feel it right now. Okay. So we got some. Man, it's so dark. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to slam it. Another air conditioning unit here. Right down here we have. Bedroom, decent size, probably 12 by 10, walk-in closet, which you can't even see, so again, I apologize for this, I'm a little bit embarrassed, maybe I can open this up a little bit, here you go, you do have some wear and tear on the walls, it does have a little paint here and there, but it's not bad. I'm gonna come on this one. They do have motion sensors like in every single room, not too sure why. You would have that in every single room.
here's your wow look at this it's like a 24 by 24 tile and it has like some silver in it look at this wow that's cool the tub shower combo match the other bathroom here Got the old school fixture. There you go. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There you go. You got the original countertops. There are twos on the cabinets. Very low. Now I do like this part right here of the house. You got all this extra room. I mean, look at this. I'm gonna show you guys this in a second, which I think is very cool. I'm gonna get another angle. Man, if I was a kid, you had brothers and sisters, man, we would be playing tag and running along this right here, for sure. You got a balcony up in the front. Wow, I love this balcony, it's very covered. Now HOAs here are gonna run you $93 for the mass plan. It is a gated community. Property taxes on here is uh, $3,694, which is a very decent price. Now let's come along this way here. Wait till I show you this primary. Look how large this primary is. You got a fireplace here. Look at this, bathroom. Wow, look at this. Jacuzzi. All this culture marble. With the dual fireplace. Give a different perspective here. Here's your water closet. Here's your closet. Now the closet's not that large. I'd probably just bust this out instead of making his and hers. Just make one large one, right? Attic access is right above. But I mean, take a look at this. Flooring right here is uh, starting to separate. With the uh, tongue and groove. Sorry, you can't see that. But most important, take a look at this. Oh, you know what? I'm going to come out here first. Balcony. Look at that. You got some mountain views. There's Mountain's Edge right there. It takes about 15, 20 minutes to go up there. You can literally see the strip. Well, I mean, look at the sizes of these uh, backyards. Very large. You definitely have a spire staircase from here with a large pool, mini basketball court. I mean, let's take a look at this. So you have a Jack and Jill balcony here and also an office equipped with Two cats, six. There we go. Very unique. Cool, right? Guys, let me know what you guys think about this home, because I mean, the the size of the home is it's it's pretty large. I mean, there's some things that could be done. But overall, I mean, it's a cool home. Could you see yourself living here? I'm curious. Well, you know how much I appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. I say this all the time. I would not be where I'm at today if it wasn't uh, for you guys subscribing, believe it or not, and contacting us to 
to earn your business. That's right. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for the end of this video. Be blessed, guys. Did you like that video home tour? Are you a fan of this channel and you want to get plugged into the real estate market? Well, I got something for you. We have a new channel, real estate, vlogs, Las Vegas lifestyle, behind the scenes, financing, flipping, commercial properties, interviews, local businesses, Chuckett's Crusoe 2.0. Check it out.